Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Yes, today I would like to show and share about how to connect a program from Sematic Manager to WinCC Flexible 2008. Okay. Uh, First, I would like to uh, use the existing pro project that we already learned in the previous video. So let's open the existing project of Semantic Manager version 5.6. Okay. In this uh, video, I will choose the simulation from WinCC flexible to this uh, project okay so we already uh, open and then we open the simulation tool then go to option and then choose the set PC PG interface and choose PLC sim MPI Okay, so uh, let's open and create the project in uh, WinCC Flexible. So first go to create MT project. But before create the project, I uh, will create a new folder for this project. For example, uh, Connect or uh, you we can say WinCC WinCC two thousand eight okay so uh, we will create the new HMI or new touch screen from uh, this project example I will choose the basic panel or we can uh, choose the multi panel yes or uh, everything that we we can choose from this uh, software example i choose the basic panel or mobile panel or what you want okay many many times that we can use with this uh, simulation okay but in this uh, project I will choose the touch panel TP uh, 17B 6 inch and color also to uh, simulation. Okay, so click on that and click OK. Yes, and uh, first, first uh, we must create the new connection for connect from uh, WinCC to uh, Semiotics Manager. Okay. To create, double click on the connection. And then uh, this name, we can choose other name. For example, I choose PLC1. And uh, I will use the S1 200, 400. Okay. And we can command it. Example uh, simulation from WinCC to Semiotics. Okay. And uh, for this type, I will choose this one. 
and this is the ball red and we will connect when uh, we online it as when online okay and uh, this part we must choose the MPI yes and this is the highest station address 31 and number of masters is 1 and this part is a POC station or semantic station address 2 okay after we uh, choose or insert the new connection we can uh, choose the tag okay to create the tag we must uh, know the tag that we create in the semantic manager okay so let's open the ob1 example example uh, i chose this one for uh, simulate from the WinCC example M 10.5 and 10.6 and output is the Q 2.2 okay so I will create the new input two input and one output okay so go to take and double click on take and we can say uh, Uh, set input right okay set input so we can write set input and POC1 is the connection that we uh, already created and the data type is the boolean because it will true fall or on or off okay and this is the address address is uh, m 10 points pi right so i will choose m and uh, m 10 right and bit number 5 okay or we can command uh, set input number 1 okay and one more for reset input right reset input right this one m10.6 we can command uh, reset input number one and uh, one more for output right output q 2.2 so uh, I can write the motor one boolean also and uh, q right no um it, it will q 2.2 right 2.2 okay q2 and bit number 2 and then click ok example uh, status of motor 1 yes so right now we can create the two button for set and reset and uh, one uh, status for motor okay so uh, I will choose the one button mm, zoom in right to be bigger okay example the set button so we can double click and then go to the text and we can write uh, set button okay yes and one more for reset button right so we can copy and paste so copy and paste yes 
and this is a reset button so we can write reset okay reset button and one more for the status of motor right so we can uh, write for cycle okay so right now we will configure the button for set to create the button uh, function go to event and then choose the uh, right now we can choose the click okay click in mean that we can click so we can say the invert bit so take for set right so set input okay and one more for reset input so go to click and can say invert bit and bit for uh, reset right okay and then uh, configure the color of the motor number one I will choose the text for uh, remark motor 1 okay and uh, this color example when uh, it's 0 it will red color and it when uh, it 1 or it 2 it will show the green color okay so let's go to color animation and then choose the take So take motor 1 and the bit example it's 0 it will show red color and when it 1 it will choose so sorry it will show the green color okay so that that's all for uh, config the WinCC HMI So let's go to uh, Schematic Manager and then download project to the CPU. Yes, and open it and online. The CPU is stopped right now, right? So turn on it. Okay, right now the CPU is running. So we can uh, start simulation in the HMI. So I save the project first. Then go to desktop, WinCC, for example, project 1, tutorial. tutorial and then click here for simulation to connect from this software to schematic manager okay simulation yes so uh, right now we can uh, online and simulation so let's go to test when I set click set button yes it will on and uh, motor will show green right yes on 
if I want to reset immediately, I can choose this button for reset the motor. Yes. Okay. So uh, this is a concept how to config from WinCC Flexible. 2008 to uh, Symmetric Manager version 5.6 yes so thank you very much for watching my video and uh, we will see you in the video if uh, everyone have any question please comment under my video I will reply soon okay so uh, thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye